Hi guys, this is Christine, your relationship and mindset master doctor and your leverage for change. So today I wanted to come in and actually speak about something that we all experience pretty much every single day of our lives. Most of us, <clears throat> if not all of us, experience this thing we call fear, this emotion. And this emotion of fear is what really keeps a lot of individuals stuck in, 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 in a place of trauma or stuck in a place where they're just not able to move forward with their lives. So I wanted to stop by to just basically come in and kind of bring to your attention, bring to more like your awareness, because we all know this, as I always say, at some basic level, but we never stop. We're so busy thinking about so many other things. So many things have our attention every single day that we never ever stop to think about <clears throat> the basic things, the basic emotions behind fear, why it is that we are fearful, and how it is that we can understand and, and not give fear so much power over us, right? So I just want to kind of just bring to your awareness this morning. I'm not going to actually start into um, how to manage it. I will just give you a kind of overview how to manage it, but I'm not going to go in depth because there are so many different dimensions to fear and different ways of, exp you know, of managing fear that I'm not going to go into that this morning. <clears throat> so the first thing we all have to do is to recognize that fear is normal. Fear is normal, right? It is also, fear is also there to protect us. It's something that, you know, is created inside of us to protect us from harm. How, and the way it protects us, guys, is by, um, you know, we have past experiences of things that may have hurt us, cause us some kind of a trauma. And so that is stored in our subconscious, right? So that next time something similar happens, or something that resembles that trauma or that experience happens, then we know to kind of be very careful around that, right? So these are the things that we have to really become aware of so that we don't allow fear to traumatize us over and over again when it's not necessary because it's not, you know, the, the thing that's causing us to be traumatized is no longer true. So the next thing that we have to be aware of, guys, is that to recognize that fear is never going to go away. Is there, we are, we, none of us are gonna live our lives free from fear. It's a part of life. And so when you understand that, you, can, you will understand that it's something that you have to handle. And the thing about it is that you don't handle it and deal with it then you cannot move forward. You're stuck in that zone where that fear rules your life. <clears throat> the next thing we have to uh, recognize, guys, is that um, at the base of the emotion of fear is the recognition or the belief that you won't survive whatever happens. So you start a business you don't, or you, but you want to start a business, but you're fearful to start it because you believe that if you start it and you fail, you won't be able to survive it. You, um, you may have had some experience with something that hurt you or traumatized you early in life, or maybe a relationship. So now you fear relationships because you were so traumatized and hurt in the last one. So now you're not, your fear going into any relationship and anytime that, that thing comes up, you, you back off, you, you fear it. So you don't give all of yourself into that relationship to really see where it will go because you fear it because of the past experience of traumatizing, uh, traumatization from that past relationship. Not recognizing that every experience is going to be different and this one relationship that you fear now is, is now going to define your life if you allow it to. The next thing that you have to recognize is that fear is really 
um, a result of stored emotions from past traumatic events, as I just mentioned. Um, and these events happened earlier in your life. You know, um, it could be from childhood or it could even be, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, right? And sometimes we just never um, resolved it. We never spoke to somebody about it. We hid it, we buried it, we dug deep and, for and tried to forget it. And so <clears throat> we never resolved that fear and, uh, you know, attended to it to kind of uh, make sense of it. So we hid it away. And so every time something happens that is similar to that, what caused that fear in the past, comes up now as something that is traumatizing again, because all of those emotions that were connected to that fear is going to um, come back up. It's going to come back up to the surface. And, and, and then we are, are now uh, in this place of um, re-traumatizing ourselves, right, basically not recognizing sometimes guys not recognizing that if we were to ask the questions is this fear thing that's happening now is it something i can get um, get past if it doesn't succeed suppose i go up there and i and i and i am giving a speech but i i i really fail at this speech because i i don't remember anything i stand up there like a deer in headlights is it something that i can recover from because remember, at the base of fear is something is a, is a, is a uh, the concern and fear actually that you are not going to recover from whatever happens. If you if you if you were someone that was um, <clears throat> attacked by someone, you might have say in a hoodie. Every time you see somebody with a hoodie, that emotion comes back up of the attack because you never resolved it, you never spoke about it, you hid it, you buried it, and you didn't deal with it. And so every time that comes back up. You have a fear of somebody, anyone in a hoodie, and, and you, you know, it's, it's, you, you, you don't really address it. So you feel this fear and you, you panic and you start feeling all kind of different emotions that come up as a result of that fear. So basically what I'm saying, guys, is that when fear is normal, it's designed to protect us, you know, because of past experiences or just things that we were, um, uh, created with that seeks to protect us. For example, if we see a wild animal running towards us, we're going to know we should run, right? Because that thing is going to eat us, right? Now, we no longer have these kind of experiences, wild animals. Of course, if you go to Africa or wherever, some places where they have wild animals, in um, certain places that have bears and tigers and all those things, of course, and you have, you're, you're, you're aware of those things, but walking on the street nowadays, you don't have to be fearful of stuff like that. But our subconscious is still there to warn us of things that might be dangerous to us, a danger to us. And these things, we have to always question it. Is it, I mean, should I really be afraid of this? You see a dog coming up, maybe a dog bit you earlier in your life you know, as a child, right? And you're tiny, you're short. I remember that happened to me. You're short. So this dog looked really huge because I'm tiny, right? I got bitten by a dog. And so I was fearful of dogs for a while. But um, later as I grew up, now I'm taller than these dogs, right? And um, I, I discovered that I had to really come to terms with the fact that not every dog is going to bite you, right? And, and the funny thing about it is that Sometimes you have some little dogs who are, you know, they're so tiny. Yeah, they'll bite you. Some of them will do it. But will, if, they bite, if they bit you, will, they, will you die? You know what I'm saying? Or can you not protect yourself or push them away or pull them away or something? Because now, now you're older, you're an adult, right? So what you have to do a lot of times with these fears, as now that you're older and an, and an adult and, and experiencing these tra re-traumatized um, experiences from past experiences of fear, you have to ask questions like, is this, um, is there evidence that this is true? No, it's not, because now that I'm older, I can, I can uh, protect myself from this or that, or I can know not to do that or that, right? But what I wanted to say to you this, today is really to, uh, to begin your process of healing from fear, you have to first become aware of it. And to become aware of it takes a lot of like introspection. So anytime you have a fear, what you have to do and you start behaving in a way because we never sometimes uh, kind of look at the sequences of things that happened before you respond in, um, in, in a behavior. 
So you have to now work back from the behavior and say, okay, what was it that caused me? What, what was I, what did I have to be feeling to do this? You know, so you, you, you wanted to run because, um, you wanted to run because you saw a dog coming along the street towards you. You felt like your heart started palpitating. What are these emotions that you start feeling? You have to become very intimate with these emotions. The reasons, because you're trying to find out the reason why it is and what are the sequence of events that um, occur before you actually decide you're going to run, right? So you go back to the emotions, then you go back to the thoughts. What do I have to believe uh, for, to feel this, my heart palpitating? Because I, I, I believe that the dog is going to bite me because, you know, you, you know from experience that you were bitten by a dog when you were younger, right? So, and, and the, the, the thing that caused that was just the sight of the dog, right? So the dog, then the thoughts about the dog, the meaning you make of that, uh, that thing, the, the emotions you feel around that thing, and then the behavior. That's how it works. And so to begin to work on all your fears, guys, what you have to first is, do is to become really self-aware of all of those processes so that at each point you can question it because it is in, the, in a questioning of these things that you take back control of that fear that is threatening to really kind of devour you, right? And make you do things that you know that it makes no sense, all right? Or, or cause you to freeze uh, into a, a place that you cannot do anything or move forward with your life. All right, guys, um, this is Christine, your relationship and mindset master doctor and your leverage for change. Please, if you've learned anything from this short video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel so that as soon as I upload a new video, you will be notified. Again, this is Christine. Have a wonderful day, guys, and never stop growing. Take care now.